Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'm actually doing something that I really like, and that is creating a photo editor that edits photos and images directly on your phone, and you can click done, and it saves the new photo straight away. Now, this is actually a very comprehensive photo editor, editor exactly like the one in, that comes with your iPhone or iPad, and you can even do things like rotate images, you can scroll, and zoom, you can unscroll, and now you're completely back, you can move, you can obviously choose, for example, to make it, to change the photo into a square. Let me show you that again. There we go, so that you can now post it on Instagram or something like that. And again, the zooming and the editing just works perfectly. You can zoom all the way to the smallest point of an image, and when you click done, it just gets saved straight away. Now, please make sure you do leave a like for this video, leave a subscribe this video took me a while to understand and to put all together so i really appreciate it if you can just help me out by subscribing to this video welcome back guys now as you can see i do have an empty project here the only thing i did is that i dragged an image from my desktop to xcode and i'll be working with this so this is the photo that we're going to be editing basically just take any photo you have drag it and drop it into your assets folder let's go back to our content view and here we're going to start by first working on our ui so the first thing i want to do is i actually want to replace this by a vstack and inside of the vstack what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having going to be having an image and it will be of type ui image and let's replace it by something that we're going to create right now so i'm going to say add state var our image and basically we are just going to say that it is equal to a UI image, just like this. Wonderful. And now we can replace this by simply typing our image, just like this. I want it to stretch out, so I'm just going to say dot resizable. And of course we need to force unwrap this. And we need to put brackets here as well. There we go, wonderful. So now what else do we need? Well, we need a button underneath that image and that button will pretty much allow us to edit this image. So over here, we can simply type in text and without making this too complicated and without just focusing on the UI that much, all this button is going to do is it will just say edit. When you click on it, we're going to start editing the image, wonderful. So before we can actually start editing our image, what we need to do is create our photo editor. To do this, we're going to be using a library called Mantis. In order to do this, we can simply use pods to install this library. So let's go on and this is the link. I'll also leave it in the description. But basically let's scroll down, copy this line, pod Mantis, copy it. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your desktop. You're going to type in terminal and you're going to open your project location. As you can see, I saved it in my file called YouTube. It's over here. So if I click on it, you'll find the project over here. What we're going to do, be doing is we're going to type in CD. We're going to drag and drop the photo editor. And we're going to click enter. After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in pod in it, just like that. And once it's done, we can click on it. You realize that we have a pod file that was just created here. Let's edit it, but before we do that, we need to first shut down our current project. We're going to open the pod file and it will open in your normal text editor. And over here, just under this line, pods for photo editor, what you need to do is you need to paste that line that we just copied again. I copied it from Pokepods just over here. And basically we're just going to save this file and then exactly in the same terminal that you had. So make sure you didn't close it. All you're going to do now is you're going to type in pod install and enter. Wonderful. So as you can see, we finished installing our pod here and we can now open this project by clicking on this white folder. So from now on, don't work on the blue one, work on the white one. So let's go ahead and double click on that. Let's go ahead and expand it and also navigate to our view. So click on that, photo editor. Let's go back to our content view. Wonderful. So we are over here and now we can actually start using Mantis to create our photo editor. To begin, just go under line eight and type in import and we're going to type in Mantis, just like this. It might take a few seconds just 
until it starts recognizing uh, in the pod. But as you can see, for me, it did it straight away. Now let's go ahead and create our photo editor. So I'm going to type in struct, and I did that in the same file, but you can do it in another file. So struct image editor. I'm going to say UI view controller representable. Inside of here, we are going to say type, and you're going to be getting all sorts of errors. Please ignore them. We're going to say type allies, and inside of here, we're going to type in coordinator. And then over here, we're going to say image editor coordinator. So obviously, we still did not create this image coordinator class. So let's go ahead and start by creating it first. Again, you will be getting a lot of errors, please don't worry about it, we're going to fix it. And I'm going to type plus image editor coordinator. There we go. And it's going to be of type NS object. And it will be of type crop view controller delegate. There we go. And let's just make sure we have the same name. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it. There we go. Now, obviously, both of them still say that we are not actually confirming. So let's click on fix and it will create a whole bunch of functions for you. That's right. That's exactly what we need. And now we're stuck with this one saying that we do not confirm. So let's do this one manually ourselves just because we don't need everything that it will try and do. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to create a binding var the image. And this will be the image that we're actually editing. And then we're going to have another binding. And this will be is showing. So we're going to be able to tell whether or not we are currently showing the editor using this. Wonderful. After that, let's go ahead and create a couple of functions. So we're going to start by fun. Make coordinator, image coordinator. So that one, it was the only one that showed up for me. And basically all we're going to be doing here is that we're going to be return. And we're going to be returning image editor coordinator, just like that. Now we are going to get back to this function and edit it in a bit. So keep that in mind. After that, let's create our second function. We're going to say func update view controller. And this one, we can actually just leave it empty. Finally, our last function is going to be func make view, uh, make UI view controller context view controller. And this is the one where we're actually going to do some important changes. So go on top context and change it to UI view controller representable and then type in context. And for some, so after here, you're just going to scroll. And basically what you're going to be returning is entus dot crop view controller. There we go. Over here, we also forgot to add one final detail. And that is that we want to be referencing the image editor. There we go. And now we should actually start getting no errors in just a second. There we go. Um, let's, however, continue working with this so that it actually is completely done. Before I continue, let's go back to our coordinator and we need to do some things. So just how we created two bindings over here, we're going to be creating them also in our class. There we go. And now we actually need to create an init file. Uh, sorry, an init function. So we're going to say init. And inside of our init, we're going to say image. And this one will be of type binding UI image. And then we're going to be doing the exact same thing. It will be called is showing. And this one will be binding, except it will be bool. Sorry. There we go. And as you can see, now it's only saying missing arguments. So let's go ahead and click on fix. There we go. And obviously something that I always forget to do, that is, we need to open a bracket and close it. And there you go. This one is now fixed, but it's not complete. So all we're going to be doing is we're just going to put an underscore and then we're going to be saying the image. And it will just go say it's equal to image. After that, it will say is showing and this one will be equal to, you guessed it, is showing. There we go. Something else that we need to add are the question marks after each of them. So just after the UI image. 
And now let's go ahead and fix our coordinator reference over here. So we're going to go back to line 38 where it says return image um, editor coordinator. And for the image, what we're actually going to be passing is the binding of the image. For each showing, we're going to be passing is showing. And now we're actually in the final steps to have our editor completed. So we're going to go to our make UI view controller, this one. So let's go ahead and type in let editor is equal to mentus dot crop view controller. And we're going to say image UI image. And we're going to type in image little resource name. And this is the part where we're just going to be passing the image name. So let's go to our assets and see what we call it. We just called it Harley, H-A-R-L-E-Y. Now you have to make sure that it's exactly the same. So I would recommend just copying this, coming over here and passing the name Harley, just like this. Mind for now, it's telling us that we do have an issue in the same. Crop view controller initializer is inaccessible due to internal protection level. And all we need to do to fix this problem is simply just make this into a lowercase c and now it's done. Wonderful. So now let's actually use the editor that we just created. So we're going to say editor dot delegate is equal to context dot coordinator. And then we're going to say return picker. Wonderful. So now we actually managed to oops, sorry return editor. So basically what happened now is that we managed to actually completely create our editor and it works fine right now. But if we start this, nothing is actually going to happen after we finish cropping. So let's start and work on this. First of all, if we try to run this right now, it's going to fail because we have all this placeholder code. So let's go ahead and remove it. And there are two important things that we need to do. We need to focus on did crop. So if it successfully crops and did cancel, let's start by did uh, cancel. So if it did cancel, all we're going to do is we're simply going to dismiss our picker. We're going to say is showing is false. So it's going to dismiss. If it did crop successfully, well, we want two things. We want the image to actually be, be equal to the cropped image. And also we still want to dismiss our uh, editor. So we're going to say is equal to false. And that way we are actually done and we can start integrating this into our UI straight away. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to start changing this and we are simply going to say is equal to UI image and we're going to say named and it's named Harley. And that means we actually want to display the normal image straight away as soon as the app launches. But what we want to do is when the button is clicked, so when the edit button is clicked, what we need to do is now display our image bigger. How do you do that? Well, it's very easy. What we can do is we can simply come over here and we're going to say sheet for our item. We can actually go ahead and remove this and we're going to organize ourselves. So we're going to say is presented. And for is presented, let's go ahead and create another state for it. So I'm going to say at state var is showing and this will be false. So we're going to come here and we're going to say is showing. Now for the item of the sheet, well, all we need to do is honestly just display the image editor. So I'm going to be typing image editor and we are going to be passing the image that we want to bind. So we're going to say our image and is showing. Obviously we are going to be showing that is showing. For the button, the only thing we want to do is we want to toggle is showing. We want to change it back. Sorry, we want to change it to true so that it actually gets presented. And because any changes from the uh, uh, from the image editor are actually affecting our image, that means that it's automatically going to be updated. Let's go ahead and run this app and see if everything is going to work properly or not. And instead of using a sheet, what we're actually going to using is a full screen cover. All you need to do is simply type in full full screen cover. And now if we run this app again, it will actually work exactly as expected. And here it is. So let's go ahead and click on edit. 
and now as you can see I can drag this easily and let's go ahead and actually crop everything except for my face and as you can see now we have my face selected if I click on done it saves my face as the new photo let's go ahead and do something even better we can even flick the photo rotate it we can actually entirely zoom onto something and then do the cropping just for simpler use and we can obviously click done it will be saved let's do something even better let's go over my dog so as you can see it still glitches every now and then there we go let's zoom on him completely and even then we can rotate him we can drag and move we can choose to make it like a square let's say you have this photo and you want to put it on instagram you can click on square and all of a sudden it's actually suitable and you can drag it and point it at anything and of course once you click done it gets saved exactly like that thank you so much for watching i hope you really did enjoy this episode please make sure you do subscribe you leave a like on this video it does help me it does put a lot of motivation into me to keep on making videos so please make sure you, you like the video and you subscribe have a good day